Hi, this is Carol Harnett with another One Take Work Love Play Daily video blog. And today's post is about my almost year of being gluten free and dairy free. A little over a year ago, I publicly made a commitment that I would try for 90 days to go dairy free. The reason why I was doing that is I wanted to understand what it would be like to have to do something you didn't want to do that you actually kind of liked and somebody was making you do it and the analogy for me when I think about employee benefits and employers is these growing mandates to be normal weighted, to not smoke, to eat well, um, to exercise, move your body, all of which I do. So I don't really understand what it's like to have to make those kind of changes. And uh, what originally began as a 30-day commitment starting January 1 grew into a year-long commitment. Um, I added gluten-free about three weeks in because I wound up staying with a friend who was gluten-free and dairy-free, interestingly enough. Um, and I got caught in snowstorms and wound up staying with him for about a week, and then I just decided to add it. The interesting thing was almost immediately I felt better, and you have to understand that I'm not lactose intolerant, I don't have celiacs, um, but I, I felt better. Um, I didn't lose weight, but I actually dropped a uh, pant size, uh, which was kind of interesting. And um, I just, kind of, sorry for the ums, I just kept going. Here's what I found. I didn't want to be one of those pain in the butt <laughs> friends um, who come to your house and you have to cook special for. So I tried to slowly add back uh, some dairy and some gluten containing products um, after the 30 days and I found out that I got sick. Not right away, um, but if I were do, did it more than a couple of days in a row, I literally had physical pain. And I wound up talking with my physician about it just about six weeks ago, and he said, here's what he thinks happens, because he said it was really interesting um, looking at what had happened to me over the almost year period. He said two things happen. When you remove something so dramatically from your diet, your body stops producing or dramatically reduces the enzymes that it uses to digest those products. And he also said that the um, receptor cells, um, the receptor sites on the certain cells that help digest those products diminish in number. And so when you start to introduce this food back and it feels like a flood to your body, uh, it takes your body several days for the enzyme levels to come back up. And it could take several weeks for the receptor sites to redevelop. So he thought that that's where the pain's coming from. Um, regardless of all this, what I will tell you is for me, pain's a huge motivator, um, meaning that I don't want to experience pain if I don't have to. So I've pretty much remained uh, committed to this gluten-free, dairy-free diet. It doesn't mean I don't occasionally have ice cream. It doesn't mean I don't occasionally have incredibly great bread. Um, I just only have it in, in a single day, and then I kind of go on to something else. And I've also spent a lot of time trying to figure out how to make really good, delicious things that don't involve gluten or dairy so that when I do have friends over or I go to someone's home, they don't even realize that I've, you know, presented them with a gluten-free, dairy-free um, product to enjoy or a meal to enjoy or a dessert to enjoy. So that's my thoughts after one year, almost one year of gluten-free, dairy-free living. Um, I hope some of it's useful to you. And I just want to say again that this is Carol Harnett with another one take work, love, play daily video blog saying that I hope you've enjoyed some great work today, that you're going to enjoy some tremendous love and that you don't forget to play. Bye.